Hello, YouTubers and fellow hams. Well, it's uh, past the coldest point down here. It's into the first week of January now, and uh, highs during the day are starting to get up into the 70s, which is the mid-30s Celsius, somewhere in there. It's, uh, no, not that hot. Uh, 30? I don't know. I, gotta, I have to figure it out. I'll put it on the screen somewhere. Um, but uh, anyway, we're getting out of winter. So I decided to get the soldering iron out and start putting together the flea transmitter. And as I got my soldering station out, I remembered that in the previous video where you saw the soldering station, there was interest expressed in it. And uh, I thought that I'd go ahead and give you a little overview of the solder station that I picked up. It is the WeMake soldering station. I picked it up off of Amazon for $45.55. Uh, it includes a lighted LED uh, ring light on the back of the lens and uh, quite a few little features. Um, let me go ahead and swing the camera around here to the bench and uh, we'll take a closer look at it. So this is the solder station and as you just saw I was starting some work on my transmitter here held nicely in the third hand which is fully articulated and adjustable. Put that out of the way for now. So yeah, this moves all over. You can move it all kinds of ways. Additionally, you've got this gooseneck clip here, which you can bring in to uh, maybe clip onto the end of a wire and hold a component in place or whatever while you're working. And this is all, it's on a gooseneck, so it can come in all kinds of different angles and do all kinds of fancy stuff. So that's kind of nice. The uh, gooseneck here with the magnifying lens, again, all articulated you can move it around and of course underneath here it has a ring light which provides plenty of light when you're looking through the lens um, on the back here of this assembly with the uh, gooseneck lens you've got a battery holder for four AA batteries I'll probably put rechargeables in there if I start using this more often than for just in a very occasional project. And this metal plate base, which is a heavy, heavy steel plate. I mean, this is pretty hefty. Now, they have given you... Get this up out of the way. Uh, these little recesses here where you can have... This is flux. Uh, this is the uh, mesh uh, metal for cleaning the solder off the tip of the iron. And, of course, a wet sponge. Now, these are just little bent-in recesses, and they're curved at the edges, so they don't stay put. Uh, I might put some double-sided tape in there to tape this down. Oh, it does have it. Look at that. It came with double-sided tape. Oh, silly me. Well, we'll just tape that right there. Now it won't move around on me. Nope, not on the flux, but that's okay. <laughs> I might... Uh, the sponge kind of tends to hold itself with the moisture, the water, so it doesn't move around much. The flux moves around, but that's all right. I'll probably put some double-sided tape on there if I wanted to keep that in place. The um, pieces, all of these components, the gooseneck and uh, the third hand, the uh, soldering iron holder and, and this are all threaded into the base. Turn this over. There we go. The uh, gooseneck, goosenecks thread directly into the plate. The holes are tapped for it. Uh, there's a screw and another screw here for the third hand and for the uh, gooseneck uh, lens, magnifying lens assembly, which do then mount onto the plate that way. Everything's pretty rigidly mounted. Um, it's all pretty well constructed. I'm not seeing, you know, any cheapness in here. Everything is, uh, is real solid. I I'm impressed with the build quality. Uh, there's also a little uh, coaxial connector right there so you could use a six volt power supply 
to feed power into the lens if you don't want to go through batteries. I don't know how quickly it'll go through batteries. Ooh, my overhead light coming through. Uh, I haven't used it enough yet. I'm just getting started with it. The lens... The lens is... Three and a uh, half inches or about nine centimeters across. Not very big. What I have found is you, you need to have the lens kind of closer to the uh, item you're working on and keep your head back so you can so your eyes can stereoscopically look through it. If you uh, pull the lens back to get greater magnification, here, look at the. Can't do this without getting shadow. See how the sponge is grossly magnified there? If we move closer, it's less magnification. So, if you tend to want to pull the lens back to get better magnification, um, and this is too close to your head or your face, your eyes won't be able to stereoscopically look through it. So, I kind of use that method for inspection more than when I'm working. When I'm working I gotta have the lens closer to what I'm working on. You still have plenty of room to get in there with a the soldering iron but you can look through it stereoscopically. So overall I'm pretty pleased with it. It's a, it's a decent little solder station. So that's my solder station. Um, I think I'll get a lot of use out of it. It's gonna take me quite a quite a bit of work putting this thing together but I want to get the flea put together before Quartz Fest which is coming up in uh, three weeks I think. Yeah, three weeks. We're getting close. So uh, I'll be working on that. Um, the uh, Probably the next video will be a continuation of me working on building the flea. Uh, some uh, filming uh, of me soldering components on, talking about things like winding the toroids. And uh, um, I'm sure I'll film a lot of little things as I, as I put it together, as I notice things. I'll be doing that next week. Um, this week is uh, busy. You know, I've started on this project, and uh, tomorrow's my maintenance day. Um, living in the RV, I have to obtain my resources and get rid of my waste by taking the house there instead of having things piped to me. So tomorrow, I try to do it all in one day. I'll <laughs> just a, a breakdown of what the day will be like. I'll uh, I'll spend the rest of today packing up the interior, packing things away from for moving it because when you're driving these things down the road it's like a magnitude 2 earthquake uh, in here the entire time everything's rattling and shaking and swaying around as you, you know as the road varies or you go around curves so i have to pack everything up in here secure everything i'll do that the rest of the day today and then tomorrow morning um bright and early after breakfast and coffee i'll go outside and put things away outside unhook the antennas drive down to the front of the area uh, this uh, big, huge area where the RVs are, um, the Senator Wash. I've got another video on this area. If you're interested, I'll put a link to that in the description. Uh, but uh, up front, there's a dump station and fresh water and dumpsters for trash. So I'll stop there and empty out the waste tanks, throw my trash away. Then it's about 12 miles into Yuma to uh, where the stores are, where I get my groceries. I'll load up on groceries for a couple of weeks. Uh, go over to another place and get the propane tank filled up and they have a laundromat so I'll do my laundry while I'm there <laughs> and then drive the 12 miles back up here fill up the fresh water tank uh, up front there before I pull back to my spot so tomorrow I'll be getting back here and parked probably somewhere in mid-afternoon and I'll be wiped out at that point it just takes it all out of me that that whole day of running around um, and then I get my day off since this video is done. I always take a day off after the um, after I get a video done and just not even mess online. I just read books, watch movies, take a walk, you know, just enjoy myself. But then this weekend I'll get full on into building the flea. I want to get it done before Quartz Fest. I want to have it uh, finished so I can show it off to a few people there. And uh, in case anyone wants to see it in person that happens to be going to Quartz Fest. Um, so I want to get that done. So that'll be all next week. We'll be building the flea and that video will be construction and the initial on-air tests. And then the week after that, I'll design and 3D print a, an enclosure for it. 
so it'll be all complete. And uh, also in there I'll be tweaking the software, so there'll be updates to the GitHub as I tweak the software um, when I can actually sit down and use it and, and adjust things like the timings and the, the tuning speeds and all that to make it as usable as possible. So, yeah, it's going to be a busy couple of weeks now that the heat's back. Boy, that, was cold, uh, that, that cold week just took the energy out of me. I just didn't want to do anything. Anyway, I'm, I've talked enough. So uh, that's my solder station. That's what's coming up. That's what's going on. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.